Let's go to the second one for the water stream. Um, I'm actually going to rotate this one just so that we're. Uh, it's good. It'll be good to check back and forth on how it hits and how it reacts. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit more. That way we can see kind of the full effect of how it's going to be working inside the scene. There we go. Let's go for a view similar to that one right there. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the hierarchy. We'll do create and create another particle system. For this one, let's just call this one the spray. S-P-R-A-Y. And let's go ahead and uh, left click and drag it on top of the water stream. Once it's parented, set your position to 0, 0, 0 so that we're inside of there. All right. And um, actually, just so that we don't have to constantly change up our values at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and set the uh, We'll go ahead and set this to our default value here. We'll do um, the negative 90 and then 0, 0. I'm going to go ahead and do that one for this as well. Negative 90, 0, and 0. Oh, there we go. The parented one will be at zeros. Okay. Hopefully that's not too confusing for you. We're just All we're doing is taking the value back to the original which was negative 90 pointing upward that way when we put in our values we don't have to worry about trying to figure out lining up the uh, rotation with it alright so our spray we want to go ahead and apply our spray texture type the uh, the spray that we're going to use for this one is just going to be the smoke so we'll have the smoke white left click and drag it over to the material option for it Alright, so once we have that one, the uh, the options for sorting, we can leave it none, but if you feel like you're seeing some issues with it, you can adjust those. I'm going to change my render mode, though, and change it to the stretch billboard. And then, instead of being that length scale, we're going to take this one to zero. We're going to use the speed scale again. And this one, let's set this to uh, about a point, like a negative point 0.1, let's see, what a point 0.3, point 0.4... So probably a 0.1 to a 0.2, somewhere around there is going to look pretty good for it. All right, and then we'll start uh, pulling it in and around to work it up. Let's go ahead and go back up to the top here. And on the top part, I'm going to go ahead and just change my duration over to 1. The uh, start lifetime, let's go ahead and change the value to the two constant parts. And we'll do a 0.1, actually, let's see, we need some speed, so we'll do a, a 1.5. We'll have it last for about a second and a half. And let's say the longest it could last is about two seconds. Um, let's double check. Our water stream currently lasts for one and a quarter to, uh, to one and a half. So that spray being a little bit lighter, we could say that it's going to last longer than the, the actual uh, water that's being sprayed out for the distance. Alright, so our speed on this one, we'll go ahead and change to the constant. Um, the speed will change to a, two options for it. Um, I'm going to go for about a 40 to a 50 range. I think we had a high value for the water stream. Let's see. Yeah, there's a 40 to a, a 60 range right there. There we go. And then let's go ahead and get some of our, uh, let's go ahead and turn some of our uh, emissions and shapes off. This is getting kind of hard to see because we have this spread going out, which doesn't feel like it's coinciding here yet. Let's go ahead and get that working with it. Um, for the shapes, let's take our cone angle, take this down to about a 0.5, um, actually about a 0.75. We still want enough of an angle to it like the other one was. And then let's take our radius to about a 0.15. There we go. So it's going to go out a little bit further. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more control inside of here, which is good. All right. Um, the rate that we're going to actually spray out, let's take this anywhere between 30 to 50. There we go. So now we're starting to get that kind of fun feel to it there. All right. So if you have those set in place, um, I'm going to go ahead and lower that one just so I can hide the... Uh, uh, the cone for it. Uh, under the spray, let's go ahead and finish off the spray. That way we're kind of focused more on what it can do. Uh, the size currently set to 1. We want a little bit of variance with it, so we'll do a we'll do the size for 1 to 1.5. There we go. So 
just enough to be able to see a few different shapes being spawned at the start. The rotation on this one, similar to the other one, will just do a 0 to a 360. And then same as the other color, we'll do a two color um, random between them. We'll go for a little bit darker, so the water is going to be that brighter tone. This is going to be more of just the spray, so we can have it a little bit darker as it goes down. I'm going to go for about a, we'll say, somewhere around a 70 range, 71. And then we'll go for a little bit lighter of a tone, maybe about a uh, 100, um, or close to 100 if you can get there. There you go. The gravity multiplier, we'll go ahead and set this one at 1. That way we're going to help push it upwards into its direction. Alright. So that's starting to look good. Um, we're going to take, we've got our emission shapes and uh, those set in place. So let's go ahead and go down to our color over lifetime. Let's go ahead and get our color set up. Now, very similar to the other one, we're just looking for a nice color to actually kind of transition in between. Um, so let's go ahead and set those with a... We'll go for a solid white to start with, but really we want to fade it because it's going to be spray. So as it goes upwards, we want gradually just the whole thing to kind of go away. So we'll take this one, we'll set it closer to a, uh, let's see, let me see the full stream here. There we go. So it's got a nice solid start to it. And then... So if we do a, a complete go away, it feels more like smoke, so we want to keep it where you see it, so it feels more like spray, it feels more like there's a uh, thickness to it. Um, so we'll go probably around the 50 range, that actually looks pretty good with it. Alright, and then on the color on the bottom side of it, let's go ahead and just take the uh, first one, and we'll do similar to like the other one. We'll go for a pretty dark gray uh, on that first part right there. And then let's go ahead and make a second one and do a little bit of a lighter gray. And then we'll drop one in with the black on it there. So I'm going to do this one with a little bit lighter. Let's see. Because we, we want to see the spray. So if you notice right through here, I want to see the spray um, at, its, at its peak of that brightness. And then I want to start seeing it go away after that point. All right. So and then on this one, We'll take it down so we can see just a little bit less of it. So we'll take it down to about a 38 for those. And then, oops, let me get rid of that one. The very end of it, we'll just go ahead and turn this one to black. There we go. So we've got almost black here. We have it going to a white so we can see that first part and then we have it at a medium gray and then we go back to the black again here and then on the alpha we're just going from a white all the way to a pretty dark gray at a fifty percent or a fifty so if you zoom in on it now you can see you're starting to see the water spraying the piece of the water the water stream and then you can start to see the spray from there too All right. So with that one in place, the next thing we want to do is actually work on the size of it. We don't want it to actually stay confined directly to here. We want to kind of create a nice curve shape to it. Um, on the size over lifetime for this one, let's go ahead and open up our editor. That way we can see it a little bit bigger here. Let me move this over to the side so we're staring at the whole thing. And what we want to do with this one, we want to create the two curves for it. So the size over lifetime, if you click on the drop down and do random between two curves, the curve value we want to go with, let's say we want to make it, let's see how big we want to make it here. If we say 5, let's try 10. Okay, so we'll go for about anywhere between 5 to 10. Looks to be a good size for it. Um, I'm going to take the initial start though. We want that very start point to be just as small as it was when it first uh, was in there. So we'll take this all the way down to about that 0.5 range. And then our random range right here, we'll take this one and go up just a little bit. There we go. So if you notice, let me stretch it out here a little bit further, it's going to be that nice confined little con uh, uh, circle, and then it just starts to spray, kind of like the, the water mist would kind of go with. Um, for the size of the end, though, 
let's actually make sure the end has more consistency to be upwards rather than down. I'll go for about a two range, and then we'll just kind of pull it up just a little bit here. So the random range between this point gives us a nice little start and then just a nice open where it feels like it's spray coming through there. All right. So that should set us up pretty good for all of the, the parts and pieces on our spray. Um, the other thing that we could add to the spray, uh, similar to what we did with this one, is the collision. And we could actually have the collider, when it hits, it'll also have spray that hits and goes around. And uh, we'll go ahead and add that one. And then we can check on it once we start working with it. We'll say it's got colliders for this one. And we'll go ahead and set the same for the uh, dampen and the bounce. We'll do a point. 05 and 0.05. All right. So that sets us up for there. We'll go ahead and close this one out. That is the second part of our stream. Then we'll add one more element after this one.